Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to install TechIt 3.1 and how to run the server so that you can play TechIt with your friends, multiplayer. Originally the Technic pack was just for the uh, single player game, but now they made Tech It and you can play it multiplayer. Uh, basically what it is, it's a mod or a collection of mods for Minecraft that just completely changed the game. There's machines and pipes and ways to mine faster and do automated all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, you'll be you'll be happy and busy with it for quite a while if you get it up and running. Now a couple of things before we get started, uh, the server and running Tech get on your computer are going to tax it quite a bit so if you don't have a very new computer you're probably gonna have a problem doing it uh, so your other option is you could rent a server uh, I have a link for servers that I suggest below but you for the same reason you can't just get the basic server for five dollars a month with 256 megabytes of RAM you need to get at least the 1024 megabyte or a gigabyte uh, of RAM for your server, which would be about 20 bucks, so 19.95 a month, I think. Uh, and then you can install TechIt, and it should run okay for I don't know how many people, uh, no problem. But yeah, the link for that's below. And uh, or if you're just watching this video and you don't even want TechIt, uh, you can also check that out because it can run vanilla Minecraft. Actually, the servers come with Bucket installed, which just allows you to install basic, you know, plugins and all kinds of stuff besides TechIt. Uh, no problem and those should run okay on lesser RAM. So anyways, uh, to get started, go to technicpack.net forward slash techit, and the link will be below. Download the Technic Launcher right there, and if you're gonna try and run the server, also download the Techit server right there. We'll download that. I already have the launcher running, so let me just show you what that looks like. Right here, okay, so when you first run it, it will be on Technic like this. You'll want to click Tech It if you're playing multiplayer. And when you go to log in, it will download it and install it. There are several options here, like development builds, recommended builds, and you can change the memory you want Minecraft to run with in case your computer needs more because there's a whole lot of mods built into Tech It. Okay, one other thing before we get started. Uh, da -da -da. The texture pack that I'm using is the Sfax Pure BD Craft. Uh, I think it was probably made popular by Yogg's Cast. I'm not sure, but uh, it works really well because it is it, it it's made to work well with TechIt, um, all the different machines and stuff they have. So go to bdcraft.net, click on Get It. Uh, the recommended one is the 128 by 128 right here. And if you're running TechIt, TechIt is running on a Minecraft server 1.2.5, so you need to download this one. You can't download the normal Minecraft server version uh, because TechIt is running on something older because they can't just update as soon as Minecraft updates. So you need to get that one if you're doing TechIt. Really easy to install that. Uh, you can just log in. Once you download it, locate your the file you download. It's probably a rare file. Just click right here on Texture Packs. Select the one you want. It Sometimes it freezes up, hangs a second when you're switching because it's a pretty big texture pack. Just give it a while. Hit done, and it should change, and you should be good to go. See right here, Minecraft 1.2.5. Okay, so now onto the server. Go to your download folder, and don't forget you need Java for all of this, but if you're already running Minecraft, your Java's probably all set. So here's the TechIt server. It's in a zipped up file, right? Extract it to some kind of folder. Let me stop my other server that I have running. Okay, here's our new TechIt server, right? See, there's just this many files, okay? See that launch? You're gonna run, run that. And it is running it with a few gigs of RAM. I don't know if it does it custom, if it knows how much you have in Windows, but right now when I run it, it's running with uh, three gigs. So not really sure if your computer can handle that either, but like I said, I'm just showing you how to do this so that you can get it up and running. Okay, once it runs and it finishes right there creating railcraft save file is the last thing it says type stop give it a few seconds press any key to continue and then run it again and it'll be all right to to play i'll just log in and show you you'll see here that it says when i log in and if you look there's a whole lot more files in there now than you know it ran right 
multiplayer direct connect so I know I'm connecting to this one right here local host because it's running on my computer join server and you can see all that garbage that popped up I have joined my server and here oh started me in the air I'm in a jungle okay new server okay if for some reason you started out in the middle of the ocean you know stop your server oh the sounds are still going and just delete these three world files right here like so and then when you run it again it'll remake a new world so now if you need to get your friends to connect um, you could go to portforward.com choose your router brand and all that look on the bottom of your router search it'll show you a whole list of games and then you could choose minecraft and it'll tell you exactly how to port forward yeah, that's pretty pretty easy uh, pretty helpful for uh, to do it like that this site it helps is what I mean to say. Uh, basically, what you're looking for in any router, if you already know how to log into yours, is the port forwarding section. You can find it somewhere in there. You name this whatever you want, just to know what it is. Minecraft, obviously. The port is 25565 by default. You really only need the TCP protocol, which you could put both because then it would get TCP anyways. The IP address, you'd want to put your own um, personal for your computer, the LAN IP that your computer is, and you'd want to enable it and hit apply. So if you got that working, and by the way, I turn off Windows Firewall because it's just nothing but a problem, and there's a firewall built into uh, basically everyone's router. You don't need it. Uh, I have no problems. I don't get any viruses. I run a vast antivirus, and I don't have any problems. So, But if you don't trust me, whatever. Anyways, you can get your IP by going, going to, if you're running Chrome at least, I just type, what's my IP? And it'll pop up and tell you right here, except for mine's blacked out, so you can't see it. And then you just give that to your friends, and then you don't need um, Hamachi or Evolve or anything to connect your friends to. But if you do want to use something else to connect your friends to, I suggest EvolveHQ.com. Pretty easy. Game client keeps track of stats, stuff. You could start, stop parties. Click right here, and there will be a link to my tutorial about how to run that. I'll just leave that here for a second, but the link is also below. You could find that. So to recap, um, that's how you get the server up and running. Uh, I don't know that your computer will be able to handle it or not. And if it doesn't, or you don't want to leave your computer on 24-7, you could rent a server and install Tekken on it. But the downside is Tekken requires a lot of RAM, so you kind of have to buy a bigger server than maybe even you wanted, you know, slots for friends to join, just so it can run Tekken. And then if you fill up the normal amount of slots, it may even crash because Tekken requires so much more RAM. So okay, now that we got that out of the way, how to install it and get it up and running and connect to some server of your choice, or maybe you're just going to play single player, in which case, when you download this Technic launcher, you just run Technic, and then you can play by yourself. Single player, that's what you'd run right there. You'll download it probably and install that separate. Okay, so this is a series about TechIt and how to just get up and running in it, what's different about it, what you should be doing. As I figured out myself, I'll be making the videos. Uh, there's lots of tools for mining faster, drills, and mining lasers, and then there's even a whole like mining rig to just eat away the earth, and once you have all kinds of machines in place, it'll automatically dump it into chests. All kinds of crazy stuff. So that's what this series is about. First video, just showing you how to set it up and maybe get a server running if you can. So be sure to subscribe so that you can see the rest of the series and all of my other great content. I do giveaways, hopefully even more giveaways in the future as I'm able to. Uh, I really appreciate all of your support. If you give me a thumbs up and favorite and share this video, maybe you don't really share this because it is just a setup tutorial, but share some of my other videos, tell your friends about my channel, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I've started streaming recently. That's a ton of fun because you get to just interact right right there, you know, while I'm playing. A uh, little webcam. Uh, me and my wife play Skyrim, and that's pretty cool. Both of us in there, she chats with people, and you can see us on the webcam, and then I've been playing, oh, I don't know. I, I've been doing a lot of my gameplays on streaming now. Uh, I'm thinking about just uploading better quality things like tutorials like this and how to play Tech It and then any other things I can create. And uh, so yeah, what I'm trying to say is be sure to stick around and I appreciate any support you can give me and thank you for watching. Goodbye.